Hi everyone and welcome back. Happy New Year. Um, first of all, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched and liked and commented on my first YouTube video, uh, which went live in December. Um, that really meant a lot to me, so thank you so much. I can't believe I was so nervous now about starting YouTube. So for my first uh, video of 2018, um, I thought I would do a body care routine. Um, I see loads of skincare routine videos um, and blog posts as well, um, and I always enjoy seeing the products that people use. Don't see body care routines that often, but I'm really interested in body care products, and I'm sure you are too, so I thought that would be a good one to start off the new year. First step in my routine is um, exfoliation. Uh, so sometimes I will use um, a body scrub in the shower, but at the moment I'm using the dry body brushing method. Both methods are supposed to be great at getting rid of all those dead skin cells and leaving your body looking smoother. Um, but the dry body brushing method is meant to be a little bit better at stimulating circulation, um, getting everything flowing um, and reducing the appearance of cellulite as well. So um, yeah, giving that a go at the moment. So I picked up um, this little brush from Boots. Um, it's only costs a few pounds, you can get them in places like the body shop as well. Um, it's a natural bristle brush um, and the method is quite simple really, there's guides out there online if you want to learn exactly how to do it properly but um, basically you're starting at your feet and you're doing upward motions uh, towards the heart. You don't want to be too harsh with this as it can irritate the skin and I think People with really sensitive skin maybe want to give this a miss and stick to body scrubs which you can use with water in the shower because they're slightly kinder to the skin. So I will link um, some body brushes down below for you and also a couple of my favourite scrubs. Um, I particularly like the ones from the body shop. Um, also the coffee scrubs are very good although they do make quite a mess in the shower. Um, is as basic as it gets and I definitely do this one every day and that is actually wash myself in the shower. Um, doesn't matter how many fancy body washes I try, I think I'm always going to end up going back to these body washes from Dove. Um, they're really creamy and moisturising, they feel really nourishing and kind to the skin. Um, yeah, I just, I just don't think you can do better than these and they're so affordable as well. Um, I love them. This one is the Silk Glow Nourishing Body Wash, um, but they have several different um, varieties of these with different scents. Um, yeah, what's great about these is even on those occasions when you're really in a rush and you don't have time to moisturise, um, these don't dry your skin out. They actually add moisture. So. Yeah, I think these will always be a favourite of mine. That said, um, I do try to moisturise every day after my shower and my favourite products uh, for that are body butters. The Body Shop body butters are definitely a favourite of mine. I particularly like the uh, Shea Butter one. Um, I find them really rich, creamy products, um, but I don't find them sticky at all. I don't find that they take ages to sink into the skin either. Um, they leave they leave my skin thin beautifully soft. The body butter that I'm using at the moment um, was actually a Christmas present and it is from Hotel Chocolat, um, believe it or not. Um, and it does have cacao in it, um, as well as argan and almond and honey. It smells incredible. It feels beautiful on, um, you can see it's really rich, creamy, um, makes the skin incredibly soft. So I am loving using that at the moment. I should probably also give an honourable mention to another favourite moisturiser of mine and that is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. Um, that one comes in a pump bottle which I know a lot of people prefer to this type of jar packaging. Um, you can pick that up in Boots, um, Super Drug, anywhere like that. Um, just as rich and creamy um, and moisturising as the body butters that I've talked about, um, but very affordable, so um, that's always a great one to have. There are several different products within the Palmer's Cocoa Butter range, but my favourite is the firming one. Um, firming products is something that I'm trying to add more of into my body care routine. 
I use products to firm up the skin on my face all the time, so why not do the same for my body? Another firming product that I like is the Nip and Fab Cellulite Fix. Um, that's more something that I might use during the summer months. Um, it's like a gel type uh, consistency and um, it really helps to make any lumpy and bumpy areas look smoother and more even. So the uh, firming product that I'm using at the moment is this one from Ren, which they were kind enough to send me um, just before Christmas. Um, I've been using it for about a couple of weeks, I'd say. A little goes quite a long way. Um, so this is the Atlantic Kelp and Microalgae Anti-Fatigue Toning Body Oil. Um, it's quite a mouthful. So this has um, several uh, functions. It is moisturising. It also uh, smells absolutely beautiful. It's got that um, sort of blend of essential oil, um, aromatherapy type smell. It's the sort of thing that I love to um, apply after a bath at night because I find products like this really help me to relax. Um, and of course it has the um, firming and smoothing properties as well. Um, it's not just um, the ingredients um, that help to make any lumpy and bumpy areas look smoother. It is also the act of sort of massaging these oils in. It just helps get the circulation going. So um, yeah, I quite like to use uh, products like this and I'm trying to introduce more of them into my routine. Um, if you would like to know more about um, this product in a bit more depth and maybe um, a bit more about toning and firming products in general. Um, I could do a blog post on that. Um, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. There's another um, body oil that I should mention and it is this one by um, Espar. I've had this for absolutely ages. The uh, packaging is completely different now, I believe. Um, but this is, again, um, something that smells really beautiful. Um, this one has sandalwood, rose, geranium and frankincense. Um, so it's a really uh, relaxing blend of oils. It is moisturising as well and again this is um, something that I like to apply after a bath in the evening. Um, it really helps me to feel relaxed um, and it moisturises the skin as well. So there's one um, last step in my uh, routine, not that I do all these steps every day, but um, the last thing that I want to talk to you about is tanning and I tend not to use um, a sort of standard fake tan. Generally I will use something like this and this is the Dove Summer Revived uh, Body Lotion with Self Tanners in it. I like these because they're a lot easier to apply than a regular fake tan. Um, you're basically just applying it like a moisturiser. Um, at the same time you can build these up quite a lot. Um, so if you put this on every day for a week, you will get quite a serious tan out of it. Um, this is something that I like to add into my routine um, if I have an event coming so up. So those are the products that I'm currently using um, in my body care routine. Um, let me know if you have any recommendations for me of things you think I would like. Um, and yes, if you would like to know more about the uh, toning products, um, do let me know. Um, that's it. I will see you soon in another video. Bye.